I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 271, where I'm going to show you how to build an alert for incomplete data entry or data setup. I have here a basic model that has a list of uh, machine types and then some ranks associated with a facility. And when I enter this data, I want to make sure, uh, when I go to run my model rather, I want to make sure that every one of these ranks, no matter how many there are, there are uh, the number of entries in this facility as there are ranks. And this rank could change. Sometimes I could have three ranks, sometimes I could be adding uh, additional ranks. And I want it to kind of accordion and alert me if I ever have blanks. And kind of the same thing will apply down here with my fill orders as well as my machine types across my IDs. Again, I want Quantrix to alert me and let me know when I have incomplete data. So how can I do this without, you know, having to scroll through all this stuff or doing some, trying to figure out some fancy way to do a bunch of filters? Well, you can do it by using what I would call an alerts matrix. And this is one instance of how you can do alerts. You can do alerts for multiple things within Quantrix, but, you know, hopefully this will uh, give you some idea on how powerful you can use alerts or how you can create these alert matrices, matrices. So I have here machine type. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to this new matrix. So now I have machine types here. And on indicator, what I want to do is I want to say for my fill hierarchy, I want to say fill hierarchy uh, indicator is equal to count. Uh, and this is going to bring back the count of non-blank cells. All right. Uh, I don't know why I'm having a hard time with uh, indicator fill hierarchy, but having a hard time spelling it. But you can see that it's bringing back the count of non-blank cells. But I actually have four uh, ranks here. So I have a blank, and I want to indicate that this is actually an error. So in order to figure out how many cells or how many items I have within this category N, which I could rename of ranks, I guess, right? How many categories I have in here versus how many cells are populated, I need to go ahead and I need to say, well, does the count of non-blank cells, does it not equal the uh, max hashtag ranks? And let me go over here, sorry, and just hit hashtag ranks. And again, you've seen me use hashtag before on the Quantrix Authority, and all that's doing is it's bringing back uh, the index of each one of these ranks. So this is uh, index one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So if I'm bringing back the max of those indexes, I would bring back four. And therefore, I'm saying, you know, does the number of my uh, non-blank cells, is does it not equal the max number of my cells? And if it does, and if that's a true statement, you know, then I want to make sure that I flag this indicator. So as I add values to this, so say I put x1 in here, then you would see that this indicator actually disappears. If I go down here, then again, I have a zero here. That, so that tells me that I actually have a value in there. So my data is not incomplete. So I don't need to be alerted. So simply what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say uh, at machine is if indicator is equal to one, then go ahead and bring me back my machine type that, where I'm at. And if it's not, then go ahead and bring me back a blank. All right. How do you do this on one that's maybe got multiple uh, indexes uh, or multiple categories like I have here? I have uh, multiple fill orders and then I have multiple IDs. How can I do this? I'm going to show you. It's very similar. I'm going to say indicator fill order facility equals count. Uh, and again, I want to count the non-blank cells within the entire matrix. So I'm just going to say fill order facility. And for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time selecting the right one here. Fill order facility. So in theory, I should have, I have four fill orders here, right? I have four fill orders and I have four IDs. Now my IDs may increase, my fill orders may increase. So I don't want to make sure that my formula can scale with 
the number of IDs I either have or the fill orders I have. So how can I make that happen? Again, it's very similar to what I was doing up here, other than in the fact that I'm also then going to say, well, does this not equal? And then I want to do a different multiplication here. And I want to say the max of pound fill order, uh, fill order facility, fill order. And I then want to multiply this by the max hashtag uh, fill order facility. And this is going to be IDs here. So when I do that, now you can see that it looks like my machine type 1 has complete data. But if I were to go here and say delete one of these right here in the middle, it would show me that it doesn't have complete data until I went ahead and put some values in there, right? Uh, also, if I go down here uh, and you can see machine type 4 is showing up as incomplete data. And if I were to copy this and just paste those values and make it complete data, it disappears. So then what I would do is I would take maybe uh, my category C up here. I would select at machine and then this and I can simply go view and I can hide empty rows and columns. And then you can see that it only shows me those values where I have incomplete data and thus it alerts me. Anyway, that's how I would do it if I wanted to create an alert that to show that I have incomplete data with my Quantrix model set up and it would help me ensure that my model is working the way I would expect it and calculating uh, confidently. If you have any questions about Quantrix or anything I've discussed on the podcast or any other videos, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me those questions. I want you to know that I love Quantrix. I really do want to make you a Quantrix master, and I hope that you will join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... Quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.